Hey everyone, Lizard and Oz here, and welcome back to Encrypted. So last episode we finished off, and I was putting this stuff together here. I did find out what the problem was, and it was that even though... Oh, hello, chill, there's been digging holes here. Even though uh, the cable here is connected to the um, shark hole over there, it wasn't connected to the draw network. Now my, my little uh, setup here is pulling from the draw network. So now I've actually changed it to extract from the drawer and I threw a uh, connector on the side of the drawer here so it'll pull from here. This one will still get filled up by the cabling system but um, for, for all intents and purposes this is working well. We are getting charcoal in. It is filling itself up and each of these is sitting with a number inside it. Very cool. So now I can set about going through and getting the recipes that need each of these items. So we've got a few recipes here. Uh, and I can probably make recipes for everything that uses redstone, for example. So this one here uses the redstone. So let's just quickly pop back upstairs. And Chilled has left me a sign saying, go up. He also sent me a, we were chatting on Discord. I don't get to catch up with Chilled enough lately because of the job change. And uh, I really am sorry for that, buddy. Um, but let's go upstairs. Chilled has made an attic or a machine room. Um, and there's a lovely item pipe here and power items going back to the interface. So this is basically where I can put all my machines. So if I do want to yank out the stuff down here, I can um, potentially set them up upstairs and make it maybe so that they, they feed into each other. But... Um, I'll work that out. At the moment, I just want to finish automating the metallurgy confuser. And I might even move these guys upstairs to be connected to that as well. Hmm. Interesting ideas. A few things left to do. I still haven't connected up this setup. Um, I kind of don't need it. I was doing that just more to teach me how the create system works. I don't particularly think I need it, but it, it does work. It just I'd need to connect into those things there, and I'd need some more robotic arms and a few other things. Anyway, let's look here. I've got one pattern available. Pattern. I've got five. Let's pop them in there. Can I get another maybe, I don't know, ten? Cool. So let's go uh, redstone. Let's go use of redstone, and then let's go to, where are you? Below? Sure, it's, oh, there, it's right on it. So, all of these items we can set up. So look at the redstone flux coil is a uh, metallurgic infuser recipe. So we can set up a few items here block of steel, one redstone dust, it's seriously that, makes a steel casing. So if I do this, cool, it doesn't need the redstone or anything because it's already in the machine. It's processing, done. Uh, let's go back to uses and just over here. Let's do this as a recipe. Some things out of the way because what was there five recipes cool this one this one and this one so we now will have the ability in here open this guy up and go now anything that needs these items should push it through here i've set up the extract you can just see the little lip on the thing there so once it processes and we can test this in a second let's let's make i don't know a couple of these um these items let's see let's go here and then i don't know um scroll to the bottom let's make two of them I'll pop downstairs. Hopefully, we'll see them running. Is it running? 
It's got the osmium in it. Again, it's not fast. We don't have a ton of power. Um, but it's producing that one into here. And we should have that upstairs in the network. So if I check on here, we're waiting for this. It's probably in here, right? So again, this is our chest of things that have no home. Uh, where have I got other mechanism stuff? That's all a, a, a refined storage. Let's put it here. Right, cool. So I can then go and make each of these items, and when we make it, it'll pop into a drawer. So, cool, let's look at... Oh, let's claim this guy. Get the crypto. So there's a couple of other items that we can now make. Is the redstone furnace and the magma crucible. This needs a couple of copper gears. I think we could probably almost make this. Do I have bricks? I do have some bricks. I've got some of these. Okay, so... Um, Alright, furnace. Ooh, hello. Why are you doing this? Furnace. Well, if I just make a couple of these. Uh, let's do a control click and it should make the item I require. It's going to take a minute because, as I said, the thing downstairs is a little slow. But we can get uh, some speed upgrades to help with us help us with that so there is a redstone furnace again this is you know this is my current furnacing setup and with having the 27 patterns or whatever it is here this is going to be fast enough and all i need to do to make it faster is just upgrade these guys to diamond cool so we got a redstone furnace and an induction smelter so again i missed the elevator completely did you see that I can come up here, redstone furnace, um, sure let's pop him there, alright, so this guy will be able to set this up to, potentially it would be input on top and output underneath, and then we can run a cable and then crafters on top, right, we could run like this. And then have crafter, 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 crafter. And set up automation using this. Uh, again, that'll use power. And we do have pretty much freebies here. The other thing we could do here is we've got the induction smelter, right? So we could do the same here. One thing I do need to do, though, is pop that there. Cool. We need to set up the output. So again, we can pop this guy down here. We'll set up set up the input output. So in on the top, out on the bottom. I think that's set to extract now. Yes. So induction smelter. There's a few recipes we can set up with this, right? Uranium, rose gold apparently. <laughs> Thermal extra. No idea. Uh, what else are we getting here? I'm assuming we're going to need some things like Vitizen, Subsidian, Cobalt, um, Slime Steel. Don't know if there's some other items we can get here, but again, we've got the thing set up. It gives us the ability to potentially work through. I mean, there's 23 pages here. So if we do need to connect and, and run through our, our induction smelter, we can do that. I'm wondering if bronze is available. Uh, if I type bronze. Uh, not uses, recipes. There's a redstone furnace one. No, it doesn't look like I can do that any other way than what I'm currently doing it. Again, which is cool. Copper and in dust it might pay for me to put these guys upstairs and just have them 
uh, one at a time working through. Okay, so next step, take that one and we got one more, the Magma Crucible, some Invar gears and some nether bricks, missed, uh, nether, we got some nether, do I have any Invar, got a little bit, okay so that's a Magma Magma Crucible. Okay, so I don't have the machine frame. Here's our induction smelter recipe, right? Iron plate, tin gear, block of steel. So let's set this up. So let's go to here and let's say machine frame. If I want a machine frame, here's a recipe. Steel block, iron sheet, tin gear. Cool. I need some more patterns. Again, let's make another 10 while we're waiting. Cool. So I've got the machine frame. Block of steel. I think steel goes in over here. Uh, tin gear. Oh, do I have a recipe for tin gears? Do I? No, it shouldn't. That's a tin gear. No tin gear recipes in here yet. Uh, that one will need to go in up here. So I actually need a crafter. Do I have any crafters? Um, there was a lot there, so I'm actually going to do this one. Again, that might take a minute. Yeah, we've got some stuff furnacing here. Uh, you potentially... Do not need to connect. Because all I can imagine is it's just extracting out of here and whoop, back into the system. <laughs> all right, so these things are running. Cool. What type crafter? Let's have a look at where we're at. Okay, we're making processes. Okay. Is it just literally waiting on this? Did it all go into one? No, you're almost out. I am confusion. The silicon. Put the one silicon in there. Uh, sure, let's pop that in there for the moment. Okay, it's waiting on... Oh, okay. You know what it is. You know what it is? I know what it is. It, it'll be... Uses exact mode. See that? So, this, unfortunately... Why... Yeah, there you go. For some reason it was set to users exact. Users exact. Goodness me. That one's fine. Maybe that'll work now. Oh, I probably need to cancel. Rafter. Maybe that'll work. I think we'll have, um, yeah, processes, processing, haha. <laughs> Very good. Almost there. What are you waiting on? Uh... Maybe these things are biting me? Uh, 
goodness me. It shouldn't matter. Right, not that one. It's just nether quartz and iron ingots. Nothing else here uses exact. Oh, this one does. Yeah, that's a spruce chest. That one's not ideal. I mean, it's not terrible. I don't know why it's broken here. Let's cancel again. Oh, there it goes. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just getting hung up on some stuff. All right, let's just pop this. That's it. We'll pop this here for the moment. I don't think I need another crafter yet here. I'm just going to do this. Uh, um, did you not connect it? It's not work. Nope. <laughs> we. Awesome. Let's get out of here. Head back up top. And we're on. Nice. Pop the recipe in here, and that gives that ability to make this guy. Okay, so. Can I do... Okay, I'll make a couple of these. One, two. I'm missing a steel block. Okay, so steel. All right, so let's get the steel uh, set up going. So if I want to make steel, a couple of ways of making steel ingot. So, using the energy smelter, I can smelt steel dust. Steel dust comes from enriched iron, which comes from iron. So, let's play around with something here. One minute, I'll be right back. Ready. Sorry about that. Um, I have gone ahead, uh, I was on a phone call, <laughs> I have gone ahead and made the recipes, or the patterns I should say. I'm going to use this, uh, put the steel dust, which is just uh, one steel dust, one steel ingot, into there. And down here, in here, I've put the two uh, iron ingot to enriched iron and enriched iron to steel dust. This is going to need some speed upgrades. So, I've also put a, res a, a pattern in, I keep calling them recipe. Put a pattern in for a steel block, so just nine for nine. So if I then go and ask for, let's see if I can do this. So if I ask for a machine frame, I need to do a recipe for iron plates. Okay, is there any other recipe for iron plate? Okay, so we need a multi servo press or we need to work out how to do this with the uh, create. What do you need? 
some Constantine and bronze. Let's see if we can make one of these guys. I'll just... What have I got in the way of iron plates at the moment? I've got four. So that's cool. If I make a multi press, <laughs> uh, multi servo press. Let's get right servo. Okay, do I have? No, I need to make some constantin, constantin, copper and nickel. Hoping there'd be a um, alloy furnace one. This is copper and nickel. Let me just try something. Copper. I know the recipe doesn't show as being there, but why not? It's a nickel. Hello. Can I do this? I don't think so. Yeah, see, nickel doesn't go in there. It doesn't go in there at all. Okay, so what can we do? That's nickel. The best. I can't automate this guy. I mean, we could maybe make a pulverizer or a process all of these things down to the last step and don't push it into here. What do we think there? What if? What if I pick this up? And... Let's just try something. Let's grab a, a bit of iron. What is the output? And I'm going to get. Uh, probably shouldn't have put this in here yet. Who are processing? Again, it's it's going to be slow. But if I can make it so that we process iron dust, can I use that iron dust? Yes, I can. Okay, so let's set up something. I wonder if I can automate this. To use this, using this, obviously not this setup. I, I, I do a bit with XNet. I've said before how much I enjoy using XNet. Um, I think we've got Factory Manager in here as well. I mean, you could probably have a bit of a play around with that. Um, you know, like the certain people do tend to lean on mods that they know. Does this have Steve's Factory Manager or whatever it's called now? Uh, at Manager. Spelling. What's oh, called anymore? Uh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm thinking of another pack. Might be thinking of the um, Limitless pack. But if we get uh, another XNet controller. I wonder if I can set it up so that the system always keeps um, a certain amount in it. It's going to overrun a bit, though. That's a problem. It's either that or I do just process every ore through this system that can into dust and then just keep the dust somewhere up here with some big upgrades on it or something. Eventually it'll back stuff, and we can turn these into factories. Probably also would like to put this upstairs. Mm, 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really want to leave it in the middle of the floor, but you know. Um, let's take this guy. This guy. Uh, yeah. Inventory is full. The oxygen away. Is that all it was? No, it's still tons on the ground. Okay. Don't have my magnet on. I'm going to take. I'm going to do a smelt can go in here for the moment. Put the oxygen away. Uh, you can go. No longer required. Oh, I've got no room. What am I doing? Uh, sure. Let's put these things upstairs. And let's look at, I don't know. Dissolver. Viner, factor. These, these are just kind of here so that they can be used for now. I, I could set them up to extract at the bottom, but I'm not sure whether I will yet. All right, so I'm, I'm looking for a better way of making bronze. I'm thinking it's, I mean, yeah, I can use this, right? I can dump, I don't know, uh, I don't know where my pipe is. It's probably pushing in here right that's bronze um, you know I could make a little smelting setup for constant and uh, but I'd like to actually process things through and have them convert to dust and then I can I can use this system to make dusts I think hmm I'm gonna put some thought into it some thought into this it it seems on one side I want to do this on another I want to try and automate it so I've always got X amount of stock the only way I can do that is if I make this really fast all right bear with me I'll be back in a moment all right I think what I'm going to do I'm going to pop a connector on top of this guy I'm going to run some cable See, apparently it's not here. Uh, connector. All right. My idea is to set up with this system where we extract the dusts and it goes somewhere. I'm going to need to give it a place. Uh, it did not go into there, so dust went somewhere. Maybe I already have a iron dust location, but that's okay. But what my plan is, is I'm going to set XNet up to do a couple of things. Uh, what well, First things first is I want it to extract from the draw controller. So let's make a new channel here. I'm going to go item. Cool. And then we're going to extract from here and we're going to give it some, some items. We're going to give it um, probably not that, right? That's nitre. I don't think I need nitre. Let's just take you can go in there. Iron. Let's start with iron. Okay. So I want you to extract iron and insert it into the purification chamber. Okay, you're going to put iron in here. It's going to continue down and it's going to turn into dust eventually. This will continue to just feed the items in here. Now we have uh, six stacks. That's not terrible, right? Next one I want to do obviously is just go through 
and say, I want you to extract gold. I want you to, I think platinum can go through this system, can it? I need to check before I get too excited here. Turn into platinum clumps, turn into dirty, into platinum dust. Cool. Again, extract platinum. All right. And it's going to go ahead and... Can't do that. I thought I could do that. It's going to go ahead and take those ores and run them in, and it's going to turn them into dusts. And again, as I said before, it's either going to go in here if it's got nowhere to go, or in this system, it may go into one of these overflows. Cool. So this is all stuff that has nowhere to go at the moment. I'm guessing my appetite and fluorite drawers, if I have them, are full. So my idea is to put these dusts probably up here. Okay. So that it's going to try and put the dust to this. I hope that's connected. It may not be connected, actually. Hmm. It's only eight in there, and if we've still got dust coming in here, which we do, and that's a problem. Maybe I don't put them in there. Maybe I try and find some. That's the. Yeah. <laughs> um. I'm not 100% sure where to connect these. I would like them going somewhere. Where that is, I don't really know at the moment. I probably almost want them to go into this system too and not the other system. Okay. Let's fix this up. Let's get an importer. One of them, please. And I'm actually going to try and disconnect myself from this. Let's put these back in here for the moment. And let's get rid of you. Cool. Okay, let's get some trims. I think these are all connected up otherwise, aren't they? Yes. Got some oak trims. I type the word trim in here. Cool. Let's do that. Let me connect there and hopefully we're okay. Uh, import. You're stuck, aren't you? Why do you keep getting stuck? I'm making basic processes. I'm pretty sure I fixed that recipe, right? Needs a silicon and a processor binding. Just string and pink slime. Pink slime? Shouldn't that should, that should, that should be slime balls? It's just a slime ball. We'll show pink slime. Okay. It's not that. I mean, it's, it's, it's this one here. What is wrong with you? Iron, silicon. What if I just go in here and type silicon? It is the right silicon, right? Oh, I'm going to need to work out what is going on. Let's take this, pop it on there, and then I just need, again, kind of, kind of messy. Okay, and we can set up this soon. This should be importing the iron dust. Will you be going in here? 
Oh yeah. All right, cool. So that's now going to the right spot. So again, it, it'll be a case of, I don't want to move this controller because it's going to break that whole XNet setup. I may end up moving this, but maybe not. Once I replicate it upstairs, probably. So then all I need to do is just type in the word raw here and then just go through and include, you know, one for copper, osmium, osmium, aluminium, lead, zinc, nickel, silver, tin, osmium. And I've already got the other ones. So then coming over here and, and doing the same thing, extract and going um, osmium, etc. Well, I've already got, well, there's two types of osmium. Work that one out, right? Tin, silver, nickel, zinc, lead, and copper. Cool. So the system is going to do what it needs to to process as much of this stuff and turn it into dusts and then this, this system is going to import it anything that doesn't fit is going to go into this chest so let's take this and give it a home which should probably be like there um yeah anything that you can find it'll process and then i'll set up a recipe for it to potentially with this with Maybe some sensors. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, actually. I'd like to do sensors on the network to find out how much of each of these there are. And then just process through like that. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to, say, create 100 iron and it'll process it through here. But this will get us the dust. I can then create your bronze dust and your constant and dust and... and any other dusts that I require from the constituent raw ores to make the stuff that I need for the next level and process through like that. So, yeah, invar, etc. can all be made based on the dusts coming out of here. So my next step will be to make mechanism upgrades. What type of upgrade is that I need to do? Yeah, so these things are energy and processing upgrades speed upgrade there it is there again once we get some dusts happening we'll be good i can just craft these because i'll have the dusts and grits etc needed to make them so then we can upgrade these guys uh, get them all working a bit faster and harder and work on getting some more power to be honest um maybe there's something we can do with create into rf using some speed upgrades and things i don't know but we do need more power always always more power so again everything i do at the moment will use things that don't require power so maybe even this thing here getting this thing hooked up to the system so that if i want a hundred iron it just pumps it into here or something i don't know not sure what that looks like at the moment but until next time it is the wrapping up point so thank you all for watching Comments down below. I'm going to go and check on my quarry because I expanded it, by the way. It finished. And I went out here and I... Um, break was cancelled. I pushed it to being a lot bigger. Break was cancelled. Okay, why are you... Uh, why are you being cancelled? Is there a chest? Yes, there is. Cool, let's grab this chest and be done with it. Get the items and then break the chest. Whee! Cool. Jump back home. More items coming into the system. Again, probably not going into the system I needed to go into, but um, we'll work through uh, a better way of storing our items i need to make some upgrades for some of the drawers so i'll do that next that iron dust can come out of there and go in there um appetite 
Yeah, I think I think the draw the drawer is full. So that's cool. We will get uh, some upgrades into our drawers and then resort this stuff into better places. Until next time, though, thank you again for watching. Comments below. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.